What's up guys, welcome to the channel. CBA here, near server video today. I'll show you guys my results and my reward from the weekend and my two midweek lineups. First, I wanna say, so many people watch this video and aren't subscribed, so I would really, really appreciate it if you guys just hit the subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, um, as you guys already see here, only the threshold, but I'll show you guys my results on Sora data. Um, America Lim Limited was a bit uh, players I had in the club. Um, yeah, Fragapane I knew didn't, wouldn't play. Gilberto and Perard did still uh, quite decent. Uh, Champion Asia Limited would normally be much higher, but the game uh, Ulsan against Jumbuk uh, last minute didn't get covered. And also last minute the uh, uh, Asian Champions League game from Incheon also wouldn't get all around coverage. So that's a huge L from Sorare, but it is what it is. 183 points. It will. It would be. Uh, yeah. It would be almost impossible. Kimi, mean, you didn't play. I didn't have a clean sheet, so it didn't really matter. Uh, Challenge Europe started quite good. Wallace with a clean sheet. Lopez disappointed a bit. Only 47 points. Uh, Deliver was not in the selection because uh, he got rested because they have midweek uh, European games. Uh, Urchek scored and uh, Benza, my captain, had a yeah tough game. They they had not that many not that many possession, so he couldn't really do anything. 90 points is still not that many if you consider 340 points as a reward and challenger. Because if I had the right captain choice, a Dilver would have played and maybe in Benza did something, I could have gotten a reward. Uh, captain 40 had so much potential, but it was so unlucky. Van den Berg was my last player, he conceded 3. I mean, I lost all my faith in Kortrijk. They're just so, so bad this season. Uh, Vertongen scored, he was at 100, but then lost the clean sheet. But he scored, so that's really nice, 86 points. Stroidia picked up for this game week and the next weekend as well. Uh, because he scored really good recently, he has two um, easy matchups, I'll show, I'll show you guys, pick them up here, he already risen, uh, his scores are just uh, good the last weeks for the threshold and he has one um, not easy but okay away game which I'm gonna use him in. Um, Brozowski came off the bench which is so unlucky, uh, yeah happy he came off the bench with Chris otherwise I wouldn't get a threshold but if he started he could have gotten like 60-70 points maybe um, and then I would have gotten a reward. Koita scored against difficult game against Kent so this was a really nice lineup. If I used Warlison in here and Rosowski just played I would have gotten a really nice reward but it is what it is we learn from that. I learned this week that I'm gonna sell from the Bergen. Um, Bundesliga Amateur, yeah, did quite well, all uh, above 60, but it's just not enough if you compete against how many, uh, 100,000 people. Uh, All-Star Limited, Bullard was not selected, he's a little injury, hope he can um, start again next week or the week after, because his price already really dropped. Uh, Cabrera is together with my Pamela, um, but pretty good, 63 points, um, and Mila uh, on his debut, with Espanyol scored 89, so that's really nice, a goal and an assist. Machete did okay, but could have been better, 50 and a class 52. It was my captain because I, I hoped he could play right uh, right wing again, but he is just playing center midfielder where his scores are just a bit lower. 58 points, so that's also not that many. Uh, just imagine Bolat kept a clean sheet maybe, I know it's a difficult matchup, I could have gotten okay at T4, but I, I thought it was a lot higher. Kept the 20, the one with a lot of potential. Ura kept a clean sheet. And Fazio oh, disappointed a bit because he had an uh, assist which got removed. And then he was on like 60 points with all around score. But then he got a second. Uh, Roma scored a second goal. And he got a yellow card. And then his score dropped uh, quick. McKenzie didn't play, which was a real surprise because um, he had, of course, midweek European game. But the weekend before that against Cercle Brugge, he also got rested, so I thought now he will play. But apparently not, he didn't even got subbed in. So, yeah, that was really not nice. Other saw the decent, lost 2 0, but still got decent all around score. And Schreger some all around score in a draw against Antwerp. Schreger's now has three really nice matchups uh, because he didn't score that well yet. But I hope I can get those those scores in the next matchups against Uppuck and Kortrijk. 
Um, this RS midfielder forward are normally better, but the last two weeks not. This are just not that closely round from him. He gets a good all round score like 20, 30, and if he can combine that with a decisive, yeah, he can go up to 90, 100. So I hope we see that in the next uh, weeks. Kept to 70 was already a bit ruined because Rosowski didn't play and Incheon wouldn't get covered. So yeah, Joseph Fernandez scored and assisted again. He's just doing so incredibly well. If you look at the scores, look at this. Let me just look at this L15. These are just crazy. 10 goal contributions in how many games? Seven games where he was a sub in four games. That's crazy. Uh, last two games, not even all around coverage. So I think I will sell him because he's not really hyped uh, bottom here for a lot less. Because after this game, this is one of the weakest teams in the league. They have Poang Wu er, second. I think I will sell him for this game and then buy him back uh, before Yeyu or before Gangwon when his price dropped a bit. So yeah, amateur went okay, but Berardi didn't play uh, because he want to f he want to force a transfer. I think um, MLS amateur went yeah just bad. Uh, French league amateur um, yeah, Paul Lopez error led to goal. Tiate no clean sheet and bad score. Was a difficult matchup though. Bruno scored like I said scored and angled the red card. So I have to swap him out as well and Turkey with all around. But yeah, that's of course not enough. Premier League, uh, yeah, my defense is okay. Bruno disappointed. Isaac and Holland did, didn't really do anything. Uh, La Liga, yeah, same here, just all average scores. But yeah, it's fine. Next week is another chance. So that was it. We only hit the threshold and kept to 40, um, which is not what I hoped for. But it's it's still the threshold. It's still the threshold. You gotta be lucky with that. Next week, uh, we just go on and hopefully get a reward. I also saw this week, I already saw it like two weeks ago, um, the price pool in cap to, where is cap to 20 is just so terrible. If you look here, you already have to, boy, 150 points, that's 270 points for tier two. So cap to 20 will not be my priority anymore because the price pool in cap to 70 is much better. Um, of course, cap to 40 will be my number one priority. Then it will be cap to 70, and then maybe even All Star or Challenge Europe, where I have the players, or Champion Asia maybe, and then uh, cap to 20, because yeah, it's just not not good. Before I claim my Ethereum, if you guys want to start playing Sora, I recommend signing up with the link in the description, so you get a free limit limited card once you buy it, once you bought five cards on the auction market here. It uh, could be a card worth 4 or 5 euros, also could be a reward from 18 euros or 30, 40 euros and he's tradable, so that's really nice. So let's get over to the rewards now. The Sora coins of course, when the fitness bonuses and stuff come in in like 2 weeks, that's gonna be really useful. And of course Ethereum, I think it's a bit more than previous weeks because Ethereum dropped a lot. Yeah, it's now 0.0031, I think two weeks ago it was 0.0027, so that's really nice because I count in ETH and not in cash. I'll show you guys my midweek lineups now, quick, uh, two midweek lineups. Um, wait, Champion Asia Limited, they're only like last week, I don't know if you saw if you guys saw that video, I won a reward with my Incheon boys when there was no all around coverage. That's because they play in the midweek and there are only 3 or 4 games in the midweek. If you look here, already 50% of the Asia, Asia cards are dead cards. So that's also really nice. Uh, I kept on my goalkeeper of course, because if you can keep a clean sheet, uh, that's 60 points and that's the most points of captain of course. Uh, it's a bit of a risk because they played 120 minutes in the midweek and they might rotate. But uh, I think Oban Suk and Kim Dong Min will play. Lee Min Yong is suspended, but I didn't have another midfielder and I didn't want to buy someone for one midweek. Kim Dong Suk will probably play because it will rotate. Uh, but yeah. And then my cap to 70 is training. My cap to 40, which is I think a good lineup. Kim Dong Hyun and goal. I hope he can just get a clean sheet. That will be just 60 points because no all around. Mackenzie, Galatas and Rosowski. Um, they're still not 100% sure McKenzie will play, some people say he lost a spot to Sadiq, but I think he just got rested for the European game. 
Uh, Rosowski will probably play, yeah, he will play as well. And Galaz is questionable, he played 19 minutes in the weekend. And maybe Watara will play, he is like a bit 50-50 here or Watara. I had Watara as well, but Galaz is overall a better scorer, so I just wanted to take the risk with him. And then Gerson Fernandes, he might get rotated, but as you guys saw when I showed the stats, he can also score or assist when he comes off the bench. So that that's really nice. It is a bit of a risk, but I think we can hit the threshold with that. Um, just academy lineups. So that was my lineups for the midweek. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button and I'll go live on Twitch in the weekend, I think. So link is in the description if you guys want to join. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.